Okay, so I welcome you to my YouTube channel once again, where I normally share education tips when it comes to study in Canada, education through study to Canada, and uh, also becoming permanent residents in Canada through study. So this kind of video I normally release, I normally release it every Wednesday of the week. So I will not want you to miss out on a video like this, okay? Especially when you are thinking of relocating to Canada anytime soon. So I will want you to subscribe to this channel right now so that you don't miss this kind of valuable videos whenever I upload them. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now and also click that like icon, that thumb up icon. Click it so that you will like this video and more people will be, will be able to see it. You can also share with family, share with friends that you think they might benefit from this, okay? So thank you once again. Welcome to Safe Travel Consult YouTube channel where I will be discussing with you today top seven cheapest colleges in Canada. By the way, if what you are looking for is the cheapest universities in Canada, I, I did a video on that, which I will drop a link in the description below to also check top 10 cheapest universities in Canada, okay? So now, one of the advantages of these cheapest university, cheapest uh, colleges I will be talking about today is that they are DLIs and they are postgraduate work permit eligible, okay? Which means there are schools approved by Canadian government for you to come and study in Canada and also become a permanent resident after your study, okay? And there are postgraduate work permits eligible in the sense that you can work after your you can work after your study. You can work after your study. You can secure your you be you will be eligible to secure your work permit after study, okay? So now, make sure whenever you are choosing a school to study in Canada, the school must be, must be a DLI and must be postgraduate work permit eligible. If you want to know more about this DLI postgraduate work permit eligible that I'm talking about, I will drop a link to that video as well below this video so that you can know more and see whether the school that you are choosing is the right school or not. And also another advantage of this, colleges that I will be showing you is that they require no IETS, okay? They require no IETS. So if you, are, if you have been looking for, a, for an affordable college that requires no IETS, then these seven colleges I'm about to refer to you will be a better option for you. And also, if you have a low CGPA, okay, maybe you have top class, you have pass, you have lower credit, and all of that. These colleges will also welcome you and accept your application. And if you have already, if you if you already have a master's degree and you are looking for a college where you can do a graduate certificate program that is in line with your work experience, in line with your career goal, then these colleges will be a right fit for you. So without further delay, let's quickly go through these colleges. So the first college we'll be looking at is called Second College. Second College. So Second College is one of the most affordable colleges in Canada. Let's quickly go through their tuition fee section. So now for international students, the tuition fee are usually based on which of the program you are going for. Okay, so these are their schools, these are their faculties. So let's pick one of the faculties and see and see their and see their tuition fee range. So now let's select this uh, school of arts and human management. Okay. This is the tuition fee range for that particular faculty. As you can see, we have we even have six thousand. Wow, HK HK assistance certificate program. Wow, six thousand tuition fee six thousand. This is 
this is highly affordable. We have 12,000. 12,000 is still affordable compared to some colleges that do require uh, 20,000, 21,000, and all of that. So we have another 12,000 here. Let's, let's select uh, another program. Let's go to School of Business. School of Business. Okay, I think we have 12,000. All right, we have 9,000 here. 12,000 is still okay. 13,000 too is okay. Okay, so it depends on which program you are going for. It depends on which of the program you are going for. So you can take your time and you can take your time and go and go through through their website so that you can see what is uh, affordable for you. Okay, so that is a second college. Another college we'll be looking at is called. Uh, it's called uh, College of North Atlantic, CNA, College of North Atlantic. Okay, let's quickly check out their school fees, estimated program cost for international students. So now their school fees, depending on which program. So this particular program now, something Abu Abogina Bridging, I don't, I don't know the program. But for this particular program, the tuition fee is 10,000, 10,000 Canadian dollars. Note, these figures that we are talking about, they are, they are the school fees per year, okay? Per year, per year. So for a year, the school fees for a year, the tuition fee for a year for this particular program is 10,997. Let's check another one. Okay. This one is uh, if you are going for aircraft maintenance engineering technician, this is 11,000. This is affordable too. It's affordable. Anything 12,000, 13,000 is affordable. Anything 9, 10, 11, 12 is affordable. Okay is affordable. So like I said, it all depends on which program you are going for. So you can check out their website and see the program that fits in to your, to your background, to your previous education and we help you to relocate, okay? So now the third college we'll be looking at is a new, new Brunswick Community College. MBCC, New Brunswick Community College. Okay, this is another very affordable college. I think the tuition fee is a 9,580. Wow, this is this is very affordable. 9,580. Okay. This is for domestic students, this is for international students. If you notice, domestic students, they are paying lesser. They are paying lesser compared to international students. So this is uh, one of the advantages when you are already a permanent resident in Canada. Your tuition fee will be lower, will be very, very more affordable than somebody coming from outside Canada. Okay, so you as an international student, the, your tuition fee is around 9,580 Canadian dollars per year. This is okay. This is okay as well. This is okay as well. And take note, not that you are paying all this amount at once. Okay, most schools re only require you to pay certain percentage as deposits, as deposits, as deposits. So, and some schools will, only, will require you to come and pay when you get to Canada. So don't bother yourself thinking you will have to pay this amount at once okay so another school we'll be looking at is a uh, nova scotia community college nova nova scotia community college nscc okay this is, this is another fairly affordable school this is affordable as well let's quickly go through their the tuition fee page, okay. The tuition is uh, 11,690. 11,690. This is okay too. 11,000 is okay. 
Paye. Paye. It's okay. Leon thousand is okay. It's okay. So if you are looking for another affordable college, this is another one for you here. This is another one for you, whereby eleven thousand will be okay for you to to cater for your for your tuition for your tuition fee for your tuition fee. Okay, this is another affordable school. So now another school we'll be looking at, which will be number five now. Which will be number five is a Northern Light College, Northern Light College. Northern Light College. So for Northern Light College, the tuition fee is, uh, is around the... Uh, let's quickly check it. For international student, international fee is around the... Uh, for just a year program, 12,000. 12,005 is affordable to two years program, we need 14,103, 14,000 Canadian dollars per year, per year as the, as the tuition fee, as the tuition fee, okay? This is another affordable school, Northern Light College. Like I said, all these schools are DLI, they are postgraduate work permit eligible, which means will be eligible to secure work permit after your study and your family can relocate with you, okay? The next college we'll be looking at is a uh, Oland College. Oland College this is another very affordable college whereby international students will be paying 12,237. Okay, okay, 12,037 for international students. Canadians are paying 6,387, whoa, 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 a year, I think this is affordable too. Anything 13,000, 12, 11, 9, 10, 8 is, is okay. It's okay, it's okay, compared to some very expensive colleges that will be asking you to pay 20 something thousand. In fact, there is a college of 30,000. So this is very, very, very affordable. And take notes. We normally advise when you are when you are looking for school. I personally I usually advise that you should look for a school that will require you to pay maximum like 20 to 30 percent of the of the school fees. Okay, so that in case of visa denial. The damage will not be much on your neck in case you want to seek refund. Okay, so now make sure that the school that you are putting into is either they require you to come and pay in Canada or they require something very token, token amount. Okay, so take note of that. That's another point you should take note of. So now, last but not the least. The seventh college you'll be looking at is uh, Medicine Art College. Medicine Art College is another very affordable school. Affordable school whereby you can easily pay a very affordable amount as their tuition fee. So let's check their international tuition fee. Let's check it. So we have a uh, sheet here. Let's check, let's check, let's check. Okay, this is 11,000. 11,000 is still okay. 11,000 is still okay. Can you see some program are offered for 19,000? Imagine. Okay, like I said, it depends on which program you are going for. So make sure you check very well. This is 12,000 is still okay. Okay. We have uh, we have another twelve thousand year. Okay, I think the list here is a eleven thousand eleven. So these are the affordable colleges that I will advise you to check out if you are thinking of 
relocating to Canada. And if you need the step-by-step -step guide on how you can relocate to Canada, maybe with your spouse, with your kids, with your family through the study house, I will drop a link to this step-by-step -step video that you can use as a guidance. And also, if you need a package, a do-it-yourself package, a DIY that has recorded testimonies that is really working, maybe you can't afford an agent and you are looking for a guide you can get for a token amount, I will also drop a link to this package called Jabba System. It's a package that you can get and undo your processing by yourself without an agent, which will guide you on how you can secure a school, how you can process your visa. Some people do get stuck at the visa application stage. So many, so many people got admission, but they couldn't process their visa and they can't afford an agent. So this package will help you with the visa processing stage, we help guide you on a securing scholarship, funding, family relocation, and all of that. So I will drop the link to this package as well in the description below this video so that you can easily get access to it. By the way, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you want to see more of these videos like this, I want you to subscribe right now. Go and subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel so that you can see more of my video whenever I release videos like this every Wednesday like this. So thank you for staying to this moment. See you in my next video.